This is an unusual type of magic square. Usually in magic squares, we've got the rows, the columns, and the diagonals adding to the same total. Here we've got them multiplying to the same total. It says that each column, each diagonal, and each row give the same product. So what's the value of x? Well, if we start by looking at the bottom row, we can see that the magic product here is 2 times 3 times x, which is 6x. On the vertical column here, I've got uh, x times 6 times something is 6x, so it must be then that that uh, top middle entry is just 1. On the diagonal here, I've got 2 times 6 times something, let's call it y, uh, that would also be equal to 6x, so I've got uh, 12y equals 6x, or y equals x over 2, so I've got an x over 2 here, um, and we could uh, now look at the top row here and say, okay, we've got x over 2 times 1 times something, let's call it z, uh, that's also equal to 6x, so that gives me uh, zx over 2 equals 6x. Now, assuming x is not 0, uh, which it's not, uh, because we're told they're all non-zero numbers, otherwise we could have a solution where all the products are 0 here, um, I can divide by x, and then that would give me that z uh, equals uh, 12 here. So now we could look at this diagonal, and we can say we've got 12 times uh, 6 times 3, that's also equal to 6x, so dividing by 6 each side, that gives me x equals 12 times 3, which is 36. There would be other roots to get to x as well, that's just one of a number of possible ways there, uh, but all of them should lead you to a36 as the answer.